Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Void. I'm Player One. I'm Player Two. And before we get started, let us know in the comments uh, if you could have one Pokemon as a partner. No legendaries, no mythicals, of course. Uh, who would you have? Also, no Lopunny, no Gardevoir. No, no, no. No, let, no let, Vaporeon. Let, 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 them, let them be degenerates that they're the majority of our fan base. I read every comment, you fucks. Don't do it. Anyway, welcome if, back if, to Lady. If you do it, I'll get a chuckle. Do it. Mm, welcome back to Layden. Last time, uh, walking around. This time, more walking around. Can you believe Probably. it? Probably. All right, there we go. Hello, sir. My, these photos look stunningly new for their age. How do you manage that? Bit of a trade secret, I'm afraid. Thanks for nothing, you old bag. Jokes on you, I'm your stepfather. My mother died while I was in the womb. Jokes on you, I still clapped him cheeks. Okay. I'm sorry, is that a dog? Please tell me that's a bulldog and not some horrid aberrant monster that's waiting for us in the. Oh, oh. precious! It's wearing a diaper. Oh no, no, no! Thank you. This is actually a child in a costume. Just. Uh... He doesn't appear to be in a very good mood, Luke. Let me see if I can find out what the problem is. Oh, right. Luke's just an animal whisperer. I forgot. You see, Mr. Layton, I told you it was a good idea for me to multi-class in a druid. Why does his shoulders... Hey there, but... hey there, my square friend. Why does his shoulders make him look like a square? <laughs> Give me your, give me your best Tom and Jerry scream. What? Give me your best Tom and Jerry scream. Uh. It cut bad. off. It cut out for me, but you probably did good. No, that was bad. Oh. Good heavens. Good heavens, Luke. Are you hurt? I don't think he's in the mood for conversation right now. Indeed. Let's find another way through town. Passing through here is rather difficult right now. All right. Uh, can't go in the place. Uh, all right. Oh. Sir. Oh. Sir, I'm, I'm scared. Base. We're at the museum. Uh, but there is still more areas. Wait. Mr. Layton. Mr. Lane, he said he knew my mother would do horrible things to her. Who is she? Who's um, my mother, Mr. Layton? Um, um, um. Actually, who are my biological parents? I only um, ever remember hanging out with you. Um, um, none of your business, Luke. How's that man fretting? Sir, a minute, please. Oh, hello there. You're the fellow with Inspector Chelmy, yes? Uh, the name is Barton, sir. I am a constable serving of Inspector Shelby, sir. I feel obliged to let you know you may want to reconsider bringing the child up this way. Is that the fucking red light district? Why? What's up ahead? Things best left unknown till you're older, lad. My advice is to do an about face and leave the area. Is it the fucking red light district? What? In a latent game? I don't think he'll budge on yep, this, Luke. Yep, yep. We'll have to find another path leading up that way, while I go there by myself. Why is it Professor Layton? Oh. I mean, if you look on the oh. map, that's that's yeah. a lot of pink light. 
Holy shit. All right, click, click on the blue man. Did we, we talk to blue man? Yes, but it looks like he has a new problem. No, that's just how he looks. Oh yeah, Derby, the Derpy. Oh boy, you do sure do run around a lot. You never catch me doing that. I'll get too sweaty. Ew. Have you met my brother-in-law? His name is Gumshoe. He's a detective. Uh, I want to see Gumshoe talk with Chelmy and them. I feel like he would put them in their place, even though he's stupid. But we love him. Not stupid. I'm sure he's good at his job. Uh, he's just a himbo. Just wait till we play the games. This must be the museum. Let's get it shut tight. I don't think they're open right now. I was hoping we'd find some useful information inside, but there's no sense in standing around waiting. For the time being, let's continue our investigation elsewhere. Okay. Sure. sure. Can we now... Boink. All right. This lock... This lock reminds me of a puzzle. Every... Every time we get to a new screen, mate. Yep. There we are. You didn't get anything for finding all the hidden coins. Maybe... I, I have no idea, but we didn't get anything last time. Hello, Norris. Greetings, strangers. Let me guess. You come here seeking fame and fortune. Actually, we're searching for an item called the Elysian Box. Does that name sound familiar? Wow, that's a fascinating name. Here's a puzzle for sharing that great name with me. Okay, you weirdo. Three couples. She's a, she's a lady of the night, ain't she? Oh, please no. She does not look... Um... Uh... A yellowed photograph shows three couples. In the photo, no man is standing directly above his spouse. Okay. Of the three women, two are sisters and are sitting next to each other. Okay. The elder sister's husband is the man without a mustache. Everyone in the picture is wearing a hat, save the husband of the younger sister, old Pringle Man. The woman unrelated to the other two is sitting in front of the younger sister's husband. Okay. Okay, so that's her. Can you find the man in this bunch who is married to neither sister? Okay. Wait, isn't it B? The elder sister's husband is the man without a mustache. Mm -hmm. Everyone in is wearing a hat save the husband of the younger sister. So, mm -hmm. it, isn't it B? But the sisters are supposed to be sitting next to each other. Oh. Apparently not. The answer is B. Finding the answer to this one just requires close reading. You know, the elder sister husband has no mustache, so it must be A. You also know the younger sister husband has no hat, so as you see. In case you're wondering, the elder sister is E, little sister is D, and the last one, F, is married to B. Ah, uh, okay. Because no, no husband is in front of their wife. Right, right, right. Okay, okay. That was a nice little word puzzle. Good job. And good luck finding the whatchamacallit. You know, the thingy with the great name. I bet when you open it, a genie pops out. And, um... Grants your wish or something. Need ho. Or it could be the death of the universe. We'll never know. Mr. Layton? Yes, Luke. Why? Why is she asking me for a 50? I believe we've just gone to the place where she uh, provides. Hmm? Mr. Layton, what does that mean? No, no, okay, no, there's the Lady of the Night. Oh, no, bro. Oh, no, bro. Oh, Mr. Beluga, it's been ages. I do hope you found what you're looking for. 
I wish. I told Samuel to track it down, but the boy is about as useful as a broken pocket watch. Oh, don't fret like that. It leaves wrinkles on that distinguished brow of yours. Tee hee. What do you say, Mr. B? Would you like to come inside and unwind for a bit? Professor, did you see that? Mr. Beluga just went inside the cabaret. Let's take a closer look, shall we? You know, just, just to, to see what he's doing, you know, of course. Oh, that little curtsy she does makes me uncomfortable for some reason. Ooh. She's fighting off the demons. Oh, <laughs> the voices! <laughs> oh my, hello there, tall, dark, and handsome. Care to come in and catch the show tonight? Lady? I apologize, madam, but we're in the middle of... Oh, are you getting shy on me? Don't worry, hot stuff, I don't bite. Tee hee hee. Good lord, Nintendo, what do you have on your consoles? I mean, they did own a love motel once. And who's your little friend there? Aren't you a precious boy? The boy is eleven. You stop this. But me? Sorry to change the subject, but I couldn't help but notice Mr. Beluga entering your cabaret. Are you friends with Mr. B? Something like that, yes. Tell me, does Mr. Beluga visit here often? Mr. Beluga is certainly a patron of the arts, that's for sure. I can't say much more, though. Oh, but you are a handsome devil, mister. So charming, so dapper, and such a gentleman. Show me you've got the brains to match those looks, and maybe I'll let a few facts slip. I have a feeling we're not just doing a puzzle. <laughs> I have this old necklace, but the thing is, it's not really my taste anymore. So I decided to sell it, but on, when I was getting it appraised the other day, I realized something weird. Each stone is worth a different amount, but if I break the necklace in three places, the three gem strands will be worth the same amount. Can you believe it? Okay... So, three sections of this add up to the same amount. Oh lord, this is gonna take a bit. Okay. So I guess the question is, what number should we be aiming for first? Hmm. All right, let me let me just let me just start doing them and see what happens. This is obviously not right, but let me just see. There's 19. Hold up, I think I got it. What's up? Uh, uh, my ideal. Okay. All right, twelve hundred. Thirteen. Thirteen hundred. Eighteen. So twelve. Twenty six. Twenty six hundred. Yes. So you're thinking twenty six hundred. Okay. Thirteen, sixteen, nineteen, twenty five, twenty six. Ooh. So we have 26, 26, and then 16. Does it say how many times we can cut it? It's be three equal pieces. Oh yeah, three pieces, yeah. 
Oh wait, no. Break the necklace in three places. So we get three cuts. Okay. Alright, how much is this? That is... 19... 26. That's 26. 26. Nine, thirteen, fifteen, twenty-six. Okay, nine hundred fourteen twenty-six. There you go. Hell yeah. All right, this Behold, one. Hold for I am the boss. I don't know how you immediately figured it out, but there we go. This should do the trick. Blink. And there we have it. There we have it. Pretty nice chunk of change. Handsome and smart. You're some catch, aren't you? Consider me smitten. About Mr. B, he's definitely here looking for something, but I can't say I know what. The search must be going badly, because he's kind of crabby whenever I see him now. Okay. Is, is that it? Can we not- can we not go inside? No. Oh, Granny! Granny Ruddleston! Oh, and we can take a picture here. Do it. First picture. Something about it seems off. Examine the photos. Okay. Let's see. Uh, camera. Oh. Okay. Uh, eyeball. Uh, branch. Oh. Yep. Hmm. Let's see if this works. Maiden's apprentice strikes again. Why we? Why we gotta do all of them individually? Oh, I saw the last one. Which is? Piece of cake. Alright. Chimney. Chimney? Chimney. Chim chimney, chim chimney, chim chim shrew. Oh, I have had a da give you a screw. Chim chimney, chim chimney, chim chim shrew. Now there's a puzzle hidden somewhere here. I know what number one's favorite buffet. Huh? I I find your receipts for Golden Corral. Golden Corral? Do you have that much? I I don't know where I was going with that. It, I lost it. God damn it. <laughs> you lost a bit. I lost it. Where's the puzzle? You said there's a puzzle hidden somewhere around here now. Ha-ha-hee-ha! Ah, ha, I spy a hidden puzzle! Alright. Oh lord. On the edge of a forest lives a particularly messy mole. His burrow is so clogged with trash that eventually he has to tidy up. However, being lazy, he decides to clean his place while doing the least work possible. In order to pick up all the trash in his burrow without passing through any one tunnel twice, which of the holes A through G should the mole start cleaning from? While moving through any tunnel twice as forbidden, he can pass through any junction as often as he wants. Okay, so it's another one of these. I feel like A would be an end point. So we have to go through the entirety of the maze? The entirety can't go through any tunnel twice, but you can go through the junctions as many times. Alright, where are we starting off at? Don't know. 
I guess let's just go through the, the ones. Nope, not gonna work. Hmm, okay. Alright. Yeah. Can, can I try? Go, go ahead, go ahead. No, because that that one between A and B. I don't think it's A. It may be F or G. No, that uh, that tunnel between C and E. Mm. You know, we can just pick a, pick one and see if it works. Just gonna save scum this. My city. I have no qualms. We would get it eventually. It would just take a bit. Damn. And now to test my theory. Okay, it wasn't what I thought. I feel like it's gotta be A. Feel? I can feel it. Inside my balls. I can feel it inside my balls, but it was wrong. I can feel it in my chromosomes. It was C. Unfortunately, it's the extra five or two. Oh no. You were you were close there. I think you just drew drew the, the wrong line. Granny! <laughs> uh huh. Granny. Hello, Dad Harry. <laughs> no, really? We haven't missed any? I severely doubt that. This way. You see that watchtower, Professor? Something very suspicious about it, isn't it? Something suspicious about this guy. No, sir, that's just... That's just Walter White from uh, Wallace and Gromit style animation. 
Leave him be. Let him cook. Olson. It's not. It's not every day. And then you. It's not every day I see new faces. Are you visiting from out of town? Oh, he scares me. Yes, in a way, but we're not here to sightsee. We're searching for an antique known as the Elysian Box. Have you heard of it? No, that's the first I've ever heard of it. I wish I had some information for you. I just can't let visitors to our great town go away empty-handed. It's not a keychain, but please take this puzzle of mine as a souvenir full sense. I don't like him. I can see your bits. I can smell you. I can smell you. All right, what's the next in the sequence? I feel Oops. like you're just turning it. Maybe? No, that's impossible. Two and five are the same, just different flips. Um... Ask the A. Is yeah. the only one that fits. This should do the trick. What? I'm I'm not seeing it. Let's just uh, it's B. Okay. What? I I don't know. Let's see how it explains it. Oh, they're numbers. Oh. Uh, yeah. Yeah. New game. <laughs> Nice work there, fellas. I hate to burst your bubble, but if you're leading these in box let you here, you may be out of luck. Many of the residents who are full sense experts skedaddled a few years ago. It all started over a strange rumor spread through the town like wildfire. So even if we are in the right place, there may be no one left to ask. Tell me, what was this rumor? Some silly thing about it occurs. I'm not entirely clear on it, to be honest. But I often find myself wondering where all those people who left Full Sense ended up. Dropstone! Old, old, old country town! Oh. Easy. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah! I, 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 I don't give a. Oh. Huh? It scared me silly, Professor. What's making that awful ruckus? I don't know. Also, Professor, it smells awful in here. Oh my god, that's all like garlic. Ew. I think it's coming from right above us. Quick, Luke, up the stairs. Professor, I... I don't, I don't want to go any further for some reason. Oh, oh is that... Is that garlic? Oh, it's awful. Oh, so there's silver everywhere. What? Why would someone put this uh, all, all over the place? What? The so hell? Don't, don't touch, don't touch the oh. What the? How? What button did oh, you push? Cool. My my right trigger. Plop. Ah! I don't like this. We're gonna have to put an epilepsy warning in the video now, aren't we? God damn it! You did that. All right. This says small circular object just to the left of the stairs. What do you mean? Hey, hey, Kimmy, Kimmy. Go. go. 
Now, is it the left of, left of the stairs from where we are, or from where the stairs are? Small circular Wait, we were object. clicking to the right of the stairs. Again, I don't know what orientation it, this is. Oh, that's funny. I can't usually see my own reflection. I mean, what? Huh? Huh? Luke, if you were a vampire, you would, um... Oh my god, this is vampire... Uh, like... Keep away stuff. Because it's a bunch of mirrors and garlic. What the hell? Sam, I'm not a vampire. You know this. We've walked out in the sunlight before. Ah, uh, yes, of course. Now, keep in mind, all this stuff also works with demonic possession to a degree, but that's a story for another that's day. That's a story for another day. There you go. God damn it. Let me clear out this. Really? Hmm. All right, back to the camera. Go here. Alright, let's see here. There's a lot of shit in this room. Oh. Cracked mirror. Wine on floor. Hmm. Let's see if this works. Piece of cake. So the puzzle ends up in one of those three places, huh? I would guess so. Oh uh, yeah, wine on the floor. Indeed. Consider this puzzle solved. Wink. All right, now, Wonderful. don't don't touch anything. I'm gonna try something. What are you gonna try? No, because it would help if they weren't like different altitudes. I see it. Wait, do I? Where? Wait, do I? I think no. Okay. I, f I f thought it was like the, the sun right here, but it just cuts off the top of it, so. Um, I'm looking. I'm, I'm looking. Well then. Sir, I ain't seeing no I ain't seeing nothing. Wait, oh my, P please don't be this. Color, what? color of this bottle. No, no, I don't think that'd be it. This should do the trick. Okay, okay, who? Because when they start doing slightly different colors, that's gonna... You know. I don't think they'd be that cruel. The colors are just slightly different in the picture. Oh uh, yes, the shiny vinegar bottle. Pring. I'm not seeing shit. What makes you say that? I'm guesstimating at this point. Save. I mean, I don't see we anything. Save, right? Huh. Every everything else looks the same. Never. Exist. See, I don't know how much detail would change. 
Like, is it the specific marks in the hood? Is it something about a bottle label? I cannot tell. Everything else looks the same. <laughs> Imagine it's like just one piece of garlic that's slightly different. Wait, oh my. It is, it is. Look, look at this, look at this garlic. It's missing one. Oh my good fuck. That is. That was a mean one. That was mean. Huh, wonderful. Uh, okay, let's get that puzzle. Okay. The fake coins. There are ten coins in each of the five bags below. One of these bags is filled with fake coins that are lighter than the real ones. A real coin weighs ten, but a fake coin weighs nine. If you're using a scale that can register up to 200 units, what is the fewest number of times you could use a scale to find the one bag filled with fake coins? Um, one? Is it not one? Uh, I believe it'd be twice. Because you would... You would measure one and it would be... What's nine times five? Forty-something. And that would be... That would be the one. It's either one or two. You saved. Yes, indeedy. This should do the trick. It's one. There you go. <laughs> there <we have> it. <laughs> you only need to use the scale once. From every bag, remove the number of coins indicated by the bag's number. Then you just weigh these 15 coins once. Eh? Eh? I, I, what? I, okay, I don't know about all that. I was just thinking you find the right bag. <laughs> what? Yeah. All right, there we go. Um, and I think with that, we'll end it there. I think we did pretty good progress today. Oh, yeah. And I think we've almost explored all of the town. So I think eventually we're about to actually get into solving some mysteries. All right, I've been player one. I've been player two. And we'll see you next time when we keep going. Mm -ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. Bye.